start of the day one would think that there was a chance here to try and put a bit of extra pressure on while the batsman gets himself in but there's no silly point there is a slip a short leg and a short mid wicket Mr. Cook at uh, short leg, gets his hands on the ball. Good hook shot. It's well placed and uh, well fielded too. Now there's confusion with the running. Either end, it seems, the chance of a run out. Well, well. It's got away from Ambrose. Flicked off the pad first. So leg by is signalled by Russell Tiffin. And uh, with that, now first of all, let's have a look at everything here. Ambrose has opted for the bowler's end. Anderson, this is, I guess, what they call the modern position, isn't it, beside the stumps. But a, a casual one-handed take, trying to flick it onto the stumps, and a good diving effort from Ramdin. But what about the other end? What if Ambrose had tried to get the ball down quickly onto the stumps there? Would he have had time, do you think? But I mean, a very, very close call, but... I, I'm presuming that the call went out bowler's end. I'm presuming that the call went out in the field, get it to the bowler's end. So his object... Now, if he'd have swung well, that from down... From there, down quickly. I know this is all in slow motion, but down quickly, down quickly, throw it. It would have been tight. I reckon that could have been out. It's cleverly played. That's around the corner. Should be... Could be two. Should be two, will it? No, hang on. OK, let's not worry about the running. <laughs> it's the one thing at the moment that's looking like the most likely way for a wicket to fall. Don't know what it is. The communication between Sarwan and Ramdin is uh, somewhat lacking this morning. They're gone now. If he'd gone straight away, as Ramdin starts to do, he'd have made that. away past the gully well wide of the man on the cover boundary it was pretty much the toe end of the bat but it is as we've seen throughout this series a real strong area for Sarwan just that little bit of width actually maybe more off the face than that than I thought it's just nicely guided it's very very strong in that area any width it's onto it in a flash and that's not just cutting, it's driving as well. Right, back to the... Uh, back to the dreams of how he might get something out of this game. The other thing, just to mention, of course, is that Chris Gale has no obligation to give anything away. He's 1-0 up in the series. Exactly, and that, that's why I don't, I don't see Chris Gale moving from his seat. Although, Trinidad, what's the pitch going to be like in Trinidad? Might well, offer a bit more. Well, it usually normally does. does, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it usually gets a bit more up and down. Something to the bowlers there. That's all right. Safe enough. Over the top of slip. Well, it's safely down to that uh, fine third man boundary in the end it was mighty close to Andrew Strauss but in the end it's cause for celebration as Ramara Sawan reaches 200 second double century hard to say that, well hard to believe he could have played any better than he has in the, for this one he's been magnificent entertainment his concentration, 
with everything that was going on yesterday it was highly impressive the way he kept it all together so well played and we saw one 200 not out Well, the inside edge uh, down onto the feet. Well, two slightly dodgy moments. At least one did bring a celebration. Just have a look at this one as well. Slightly closed face. Down it comes. When you get those sort of inside edges, you can roll off that pad onto the stumps. This time it's gone safely out uh, towards Gully. But two little signs that uh, it is not impossible to put someone under pressure. Well, you could argue equally that it's largely down to the batsman and his response. Use that one alone. Tickle away down the leg side. Very, very fine indeed. First time that uh, Ramrish Sarwan has uh, hit a four on the onside. Well, England chose to go in with four bowlers, and I have to say that Aaron Sidebottom to me does not look fit. His speeds are way down, that's 79. Take a gamble going in with four bowlers, but we've got one that's not been fit and been injured for a long time. I'm not sure you can justify that. And that's pulled away, not. Uh as firmly as normally. It's a great piece of work, isn't it? Wholehearted effort from uh, James Anderson, who's been the bowler from the Malcolm Marsh Glen, has been running around that boundary with the spinner on, now with the seamer on as well. And he must have covered 40, 50 yards there to get round to make the dive and save the boundary. Fantastic commitment. Full, very, very close. Did it pitch in line? Will we have our first referral of the day? Alim Dar has said not out. Andrew Strauss discussing with his bowler. Strauss has got one left. I think side bottom wants it as the bowler. Strauss not so sure. Finally, finally they've decided. We. That's another thing that they have to look at about the length of time that they take to ask for these referrals. What the important thing is where it pitched in us. I think if it pitched in line, it's going to be very, very close. Oh, no ball. Is there any conclusive evidence to overrule the on-field umpire? Did it pitch in line? Is it high? Is it going down? Did it pitch in line? No. So Alim Dar on the field has got it right. Carol Harper off the field should just send a message now, say no, absolutely no reason to overrule that, Alim. That's a, a good decision. And that's the sign 